you know that Cypress has commands that you can use. Commands such as get, visit, contains, and so on. But did you know that you can create your very own custom commands, hmm? such as log into account, download document, submit a form? That's what I'm going to show you next. Thanks for watching Out of Me Now. I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. So here I have this request from one of our viewers. They basically want to know how to create custom commands in Cypress. They want to be able to use custom commands to be able to do things such as selecting from dropdowns, entering text, and so on. Let's go to the code. Let us begin by taking a look at this test that I've written here. This test submits a web form. Let's have a look at that form. When you go to automate.io, you're going to find this sandbox page, this one right here. And here we have different things that we can automate. We're going to be using form fields. So let me click this button here. This takes me to the form fields page. And this is the form that I'm referring to in my test. I'm going to be filling out this form right here. Notice that this form has different things that we can fill out. For example, we have this input field here at the beginning. We also have some checkboxes, radio buttons, some drop down items, and also an email and some input here. And lastly, we have this submit button right here. What our test is going to do is basically fill out this form and click the submit button. Let us get back to the test. And there are a few things that are going on in this test. The first thing that we do is go to the forms page. That is performed by this command right here, cy.visit. This is followed by filling out the form. In the first input field, we're going to enter the word hi. We're also going to check option three right here when we select the checkbox. For radio buttons, we're going to select blue. In the dropdown, we're going to select decimal. And this is the email that we're going to use for the email field. And lastly, the message that we're going to enter. Once this is complete, we're going to click the submit button in this command right here. Now, let me go ahead and run this test to show you what it's going to look like. Here we see the test executing, and now it's landed on the form fields page. And now we're filling out all the fields and submitting the form. Notice that the test passed. We also see what happens when we submit the form. After you click the submit button, this is what we get. It's some type of confirmation message that says, these are all the fields that we had and this is the values that we provided for each field. Now, let's just say that instead of having all of these commands in this test right here, we wanted one simple custom command where all of this test could be executed in one go. That will not only make our code more readable, but it will also help us reduce code duplication because custom commands can be reused. Let us have a look how we can create a custom command. For that, I'm going to head over to this folder called support, and then I'm going to select commands.js. And notice that this file has some information on custom commands, as well as some code examples. So let us go ahead and add a new command here. So to add a new command, we say cypress.commands. And then we say dot add, because we want to add a new command. Feel free to name your commands to whatever fits your needs. In my case, I want to create a custom command that is going to fill out that form. So I'm going to name it submit form. This needs to be in quotes and then the name. I'm going to say submit form. So that's the name of my command. Next, I need my list of parameters. So let's go back to the test over here. So we're going to need parameters for all of the items that we are hard coding, like these right here. Let me go ahead and do that now. So I went ahead and added all my parameters right here. I added one parameter for each of the values that I'm submitting right here. Let me go ahead and bring this down here. So for the input field, I've called that parameter salutation. This checkbox refers to this item right here. The radio is this one right here. The dropdown is this one. And this is followed by email and message, these last two over here. So next, I need to write the body for this custom command. And as you might have guessed, the body of this command is going to be whatever we have in the test. So let me go ahead and grab all of this right here and then I'm going to go back to my command and paste it right in here. The next thing that we need to do is to remove this hard-coded values right here. So instead of having hide right here, I'm going to replace it with salutation. That's the name of my parameter. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in here. I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the items here. I finished doing that, so every single command now is parameterized. Now all I have to do is go back to my test and call this command right here. Then I would pass in all the parameters that are required. So let me go back over here to my test. And here I'm going to say cy.parameter. 
submit form. Now we need to provide the information that the form should have. So let's go ahead and start filling out the parameters here. I provided values for each of the parameters that this method requires. So when this test executes, Cypress is going to look for these custom commands in the commands.js file. Once it finds the command, it is going to pass in all the information that I provided and execute all of this code right here. Let's go back to the test and rerun it. Once again, we see that the test passed. We can also see here that the form was submitted with all of the options that we provided. This video shows you how to use the commands.js file to add your custom commands. This can be a great thing to have in your tool arsenal because it allows you to create your very own library of commands that you can use in Cypress. In addition to this commands.js file, there's another file that is very useful, and that is the index.js file. If you would like to learn how to use that file, check out the video card on the screen. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end, and I'll see you in the next video.